Are we acting like a couple? I'm just trying to get it straight Cause I'm over here convinced that it's too early for mistakes And then Everything you had to know Had you over every night Every night was passionate Plus you met my mother Even if it was an accident I'm confused Tell me where we go wrong I was sure that I would be with you for so long I was planning on this being something worth mentioning Energy invested in someone I saw potential in I do have a washer and dryer in my building. I barely use it. I wash in my mother's house, but her washer just takes forever, y'all. It just, it's like the shit is done, but it's locked still. Anyway, later I am going out with my cousin. Y'all will see that. So I need to go home and figure out what I'm wearing, but yeah, that's about it. And I made a good ass shark salad last night. I think I need to run it back. Hi, you guys. Um, I don't know if this is like the... Hold on, y'all. Flies are constantly getting in my house. I didn't kill like eight today. Let me see how to get in my house. Now. Okay, so I'm back. Y'all, when I told y'all, hold on, I was killing one fly and I had to look at my door. The window was three up in there. If they're big ass flies, I don't know if they're getting in through my door, but her... Window is shut. I don't know, but flies are getting in my house and 
it's one fly that I ain't killed yet, but all today I didn't kill like eight flies, y'all. My house ain't nasty. It might be a little junky sometimes, but this bitch ain't nasty. So it's really irritating me, but I feel like I have so much to unpack with y'all. Hold on one more time. Let me get my tripod because I have a lot on back. Okay, y'all. So first off, um, today is july 31st the last few days have been every bit of rocky as fuck for me okay if you've been watching me for a while you know two years ago one of my closest friends was tragically killed um yeah tragically tragedy uh he was talking yeah so if y'all was watching me for a while y'all remember i was going through that and i went to my friends you know me and some other friends linked up and yeah so that day is always hard for me because it's the day my friend was taken from me so tragically and like a day or two after like he was killed me and some of my friends and like our eighth grade teacher we went to his mother's house to go see his mom but like you know she wasn't at the house which you know i definitely understand she wasn't at the house i guess she was getting away from the house i guess it just was too traumatic for her to be there and I would just never forget, like, the yellow tape, you know, because they killed him in the back of his house. The yellow tape and just the bullet holes inside the fence. And I'll never forget how I felt like he died. And I had my baby with me, y'all. I had my baby with me, and we on a block, and they just niggas outside, and they get, they just on their laps. And I'm like, I got to get the fuck, my baby the fuck away from this. I would just never forget. I don't know it's just that day is just a lot a lot for me right but not only just he was killed that day it was also it's also my grandmother's birthday that day so like the day he passed away later on that day me and my i was at work and me and my siblings were just supposed to get ready and go um, to a hotel afterwards for my grandma's birthday and you know we got the news and yeah we didn't we didn't make it to the hotel so i was sad that day because of my grandma's birthday who's no longer with me my grandma passed away about I want to say like six or seven years ago. So I was saying this is my grandmother, my grandmother's birthday, it's like my death anniversary. And then y'all, y'all went out of me this shit. So I'm already sad or whatever. And then um, I get a text message that one of my cousins passed away on the same day. One of my cousins passed away and I'm like at work and I'm just fucking crying and it was heartbreaking because his cousin who passed away, like her sister had a party like the day before and we were supposed to go. Me and like my sister and I think my cousin were supposed to go. And we didn't end up going or whatever. So if we would have went, that would have been my last time seeing her. But I didn't, I didn't know. Um, but my cousin passed away. Um, when my, the person who ended my friend type of the life is still at large. We have, they have never been caught. The person who's responsible for my cousin's death. So it was her, one of her cousins, well, her and two of her cousins in the car, and somebody hit them. It was a hit and run. Somebody hit them, and my cousin and one of her cousins died at the scene. The other cousin did survive. She was just in critical condition, but she survived. So that was like, what the fuck? And this took me back to a few years ago. Her sister, the cousin, just passed away. This was like my senior year of high school. Her sister passed away. And I think y'all probably heard me talk about this before, but her sister passed away in a car accident on New Year's Eve. And not only was her, it was her sister, it was another one of our cousins in a car with her sister, and it was somebody else too. But yeah, so the past few days, I just been going through it, like emotional as hell. Like it's just been, a lot, it been a lot. So her funeral will be next week. Well, is that specifically? Yeah, it'll be next. Is it? Is it next Saturday or Saturday after that? Hold on now. Her funeral. Um. Yeah. Just a lot. So I do work the day of her funeral, but I go to work late that day, so I'm gonna be able to make it to her funeral, and then I'm gonna have to leave and go to work. Yeah, her funeral is next Saturday, so. And yeah, I'll be linking up my sisters and my cousins before the funeral. Me at the funeral, and then I have to leave. Go to work. 
So yeah, I have a, um, a derma appointment with a dermatologist today. I'm getting ready to do that in a second. Um, I have a hair appointment tomorrow. Still do not know how to get my hair, actually. I know I booked for a front wig and so, and um, I just don't know exactly like how I want my hair styled. Yeah, so I got a hair appointment tomorrow, then I'm going to do like some other little errands. I need to go to the grocery store, which I really have a lot of food, but my siblings are going to come over this weekend and watch my day before me while I work. So I just want to like bat on their snacks to be comfortable, you know. What else is going on? Um, that's about it right now. So yeah, these last few days have been rocky. Rocky, 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 rocky. But yeah, just waiting for my baby to come home. I think I'm going to just order her some dinner. Because I'm full. When I came in, I did lunch. I went to go do lunch. I came in, I ate like two sandwiches just an hour ago. I'm still very full. I still have some rice and beans, shell. I can eat that. But I think I'm gonna just probably order my baby like something to eat. And that's it. Uh, that's it. So yeah, I'll see y'all when I get to the, the dermatologist. Okay, not that I'm the damn Amazon Fresh sponsor lady, but I be found in so many good deals on Amazon Fresh for real, y'all. Like for real. Um, and they be doing them randomly. Five dollars. Normally this like nine, it's like nine and eight dollars. Normally this is eleven dollars. This was five dollars. I think this was only a dollar off. Two dollars. Two fucking dollars. These were on sale for five dollars. <laughs> five dollars. Two dollars. It's like a dollar fifty. A dollar and twenty five cents. This is like two dollars. These. This one's like five dollars. This is like four dollars. And I got more shit I ain't even show y'all, but considering I only get $200 in link, I be having to still, still spend cash. And I like my household shit, so any time some shit on sale, I'm not gonna lie, they always have a good ass sales. Like, I might go to sleep tonight, I might be in the bed laying down tonight and hop up on there and if I, if I found some more good deals, I'm gonna do another fucking order. This is my, like, third one this week. I'm sorry, they be having great deals. I found some ribs, y'all. I got about two slabs of ribs the other day. They was $2 each. Swear to God three dollars and like i said i got some more shit i need to show y'all but i'm selling y'all amazon fresh don't sleep on them hey you guys it's the next day my hair appointment is in like an hour and I, I think i'm gonna just get a side park i don't know which color i'm getting but yeah so see y'all at the shop <laughs> Okay, y'all, so look. I'm gonna put my hand. Okay, so I, re I really didn't. I know y'all think, like, if y'all been paying attention, it's like little things updated in my house. Like, I changed my curtains. I have another couch in my house. I have another I have a few little things, but I don't think I've really addressed it, right? But I'm pretty sure y'all think it. So, this couch, and yeah, excuse the signs, I'm gonna wipe it off. This couch was originally my mother's. My mother, my mother got new furniture. And okay, this couch over here I bought when I moved in this house. This one I recently just got from my mother, right? These two pillowcases I've been had. So when I got this couch, it didn't have no pillowcases. You know, no pillows. So I'm okay. I pulled these out randomly. I'm like, you know what? Actually, look good. Let me just buy some more for the couch. So I bought two more. Y'all about 60 by 60s and y'all y'all see how big this shit is compared to this one so about 60 by 60 about another one this size which fits the pillow perfectly and this is the old one so it's like i have three different sizes so this is the new size these two are the old ones i did not expect i didn't know i bought pillows this big am i mad at it no but now i think i need to buy two more 60 by 60s but then i was about to buy some yellow pillows up in here too for a pop of color, so I don't know. Okay, hair is done, but I do not know if I like this. It's just, I was supposed to get a wig installed. Whatever, I guess. Anyway, my friend and me and my friend Jamisa are supposed to be having a um a taco margarita night tonight. 
So I plan on making steak and chicken tacos. Maybe even ground beef. I don't know what happened around turkey. I don't know, but yeah, I don't know. I don't hate my hair, but I don't love it. What y'all think? Good morning, you guys. Good morning. I just woke up and I'm nervous about today. Hold on. Working on. Why am I trying to put y'all in my flowers? I just want to like hold y'all. Okay, you know what? I don't put y'all. I'm nervous. I'm so nervous about today, but I'm so excited. So nervous about today, but I'm excited. So, and yes, my hair is back looking crazy. I'll fix it. I'm going to enroll in school today. So, you guys heard me, and this is something I really want to go more in depth with. But you guys heard me say that I'm certified as a CNA, PCC, EKG tech, and phlebotomist. Uh, I'm going to have to go more in depth with this, right? But to make a long story short, my certifications are now inactive. And they're not inactive because I have not been working. They're inactive because I was working off of a agency app. The agency app is called Clipboard Health. And it's very fucking popular. A lot of people prefer to work agency because with agency, you can, with agency, it's like you can pick and go. You can pick and go where you want to work and you make more money off agency, right? And for me, it was like, okay, I worked in the nursing field for a little bit. Well, for a while, not a little bit. I worked in the nursing field and it has pros and cons. And then I went back into, I think, I worked in like a call center or something like that. So from time to time, I would still do you know, my nursing shit, but I would do it on the app. So to make a long story short, when it came for my stuff to get recertified, and I had to call down to the state, you know, cause I'm like, hey, y'all need to update this. It's gonna say my shit is uncertified, I mean, inactive, but really I've been working. And then trying kind to of find out, in, at least in Illinois, there's only three. And please, you guys, please share this with somebody. Cause I didn't know, they don't teach us this type of shit in class or anything. I did not know this, um, at least at the school I went to. But in Illinois, it's only three HD apps that the um, that that the state of Illinois really recognize as like, well, really. Okay, so I was working with Clipboard Health, and they're like, "No, we don't work with Clipboard Health." How they explained it to me, they said it's a fee. Clipboard Health, we got a fee. I mean, pay, and they don't want to pay it. So, make long story short, it's only three HC apps in Illinois that they really work with, and they would like if I would have. So, I know one of the um, HCs. Their name's like Breaktree or some shit like that. So, if I would have worked with Breaktree, they could have changed my status from inactive to active, but not with Clipboard Health. So to make a long story short, because I was just working off agency apps, I have to, my my, st my stuff became inactive, right? It came inactive now. When it becomes inactive, you have a year to, it's a process. You have to like, it's a whole process. I could really go into a whole in more in depth video if you would like me to. Um, it's like a whole process. You have to pay these fees. You have to, to retake a test, but you have to, take another test for like these people to even feel like you're qualified to get recertified and then you have to like take your state boards again it's a whole process right and I could have did that but I did not because I felt like honestly it wasn't really even about the money it's just like let me just let me go back to school and get a refresher let me go back to school and it's so much shit I can do this time around the first time I Again, if y'all want me to go to like, if y'all want me to go into more in depth, I can. But this time around, it's a lot more shit I, I, I'm aware of. It's a lot more things I can do with my certifications, and it's just a lot. Again, I can do a whole separate video, right? But I'm about to go enroll in the school I went to the first time, and I'm a little nervous. And I'm gonna go a little earlier before the orientation because I like to have to talk with like one of the people there because I know he's there. He's still in. I don't want to be looking at me like, what the fuck you doing here? So I want to like have a talk with him. I'm telling, I'm telling you him the same thing. I'm telling you guys like, and maybe he didn't know. I got went to school so long ago. Maybe things were different. Maybe, maybe he didn't know. Maybe he knows now. I don't know. But look, one thing about me, I do good as fucking school, period. Except when I went to real estate school, I didn't do that good. 
real estate school stressed me the fuck out. I ain't gonna lie to you. But normally I do good as fuck in school. So I'm gonna do good in school. I'm gonna do my work and I take school really serious. Um, Just please don't just try to single me out. Don't try to make me feel bad. Please, I wanna work. I wanna do this shit and I wanna refresh her and I still have all my notes and shit from school. But you know, I wanna do it. So I'm nervous. But yeah, I'm gonna go to register for school, then go to work. So right now I'm about to make me a coffee. And yeah, y'all, I'm nervous, but I wanna do it, so yeah. But yeah, I want coffee today. Y'all know I don't drink coffee every day, but I want some today. I want like a shake and espresso situation. So, Mm, I think I'm gonna finally buy me some more. Well, for sure, like, cause my pies are expensive, honey. And this is just as good. But I think for sure when the fall come, I will have my pies back. But for now, so some of this, brown sugar. And I have some brown sugar syrup, actually. Where you go? Hazelnut, Irish cream. I need more vanillas, no vanilla. That salted caramel with that taste or not again. Ooh, I cinnamon bun. Cinnamon bun to the rescue. Plastic spoon because plastic is our friend. Y'all know I accidentally bought some recyclable tissue. I mean, I don't care. It was on sale. That's why I bought it. Like, it was on sale. But six rolls is like $2 on Amazon. But, um, I'm sorry. I should, like, care about the environment. But I'm going to use my paper and plastic utensils. I'm sorry. Okay. There probably was too much espresso, but you know I like it strong, so that's fine. Brown sugar, baby. Maybe a little bit more brown sugar. Well, I don't like it too sweet, though. Oh, you know what? I forgot. I'm, okay. I'm only going to do like a pump with a cinnamon blind. Like, can y'all even see what I'm doing? Did y'all was, was just able to see anything I just did? I well, hope so. Okay. Water. It's like exact measurements you're supposed to do when you use this like espresso. I think it's like for each tablespoon of espresso, it's a tablespoon of water, but I just kind of have all this shit. I ain't gonna lie to you, I didn't follow directions. Ice. Oh, I could make an espresso. You know what? No espresso martini, Nakia. No. Y'all made espresso martini the other day. I'm going to show y'all a picture. Fire. Real good. I need to get some Bailey's because I just know the Bailey's going to take it up and notch it up. Good morning, you guys. I just woke up. I don't even know if my camera. My camera looks so blurry. Let's say. I don't know. Okay, so I'm going to come back. But first, y'all. I did not finish all that coffee yesterday, so I froze it <laughs> and got coffee. I just add some whipped cream on top and y'all. Oh, second of all, I am able, so at least for my CNA portion. Okay, so how I explained to y'all yesterday that, oh, what did I say? I said, oh, um, let me switch y'all down. So I said that for the CNA portion, I had a year, I had a year to um, like do the process so I can keep my license active after it expired. But no, y'all, it's 24 consecutive months. It's two years. So I went yesterday and soon as I was there in the orientation and then the man, first of all, when I get, I got in this program, I was like 20, well, when I was 20, but I remember this. I don't even know how I learned about this program. I learned that when I was like 16, 17, right? 
And I don't know how this man got my information, but for years he would just call me and be like, yeah, sign up and come, come. And then I finally just came one day, right? And, um, yeah. So I've been, at this point, I've been knowing this man or having some type of cover. Yes, I don't know how my lighter is, so I have to light my candle like this right now. Oh, anyway. So I was nervous because I didn't want, like, judgments. I don't want nobody judge me like, okay, why was she doing bad? She ain't do shit with it the first time, whatever. So he, what you doing here? And I'm like, um, I need everything. He, what you need? I said, everything. So he pulled up my information or whatever. He pulled me to the side. He pulled up everything. And he said, no. Oh, he said, Nick, you don't have to do this all over again. He said, if you want to do like the EKG and a phlebotomy over, we can do that. He said, but go. He said, um, he gave me somebody number. He said, look, this person, they're going to charge you a few hundred dollars and then, you know, tell you what you got to do from there. But the funding you have here, we'll rather you either use it towards your EKG or phlebotomy, but really we'll rather you use it towards the LPN program, right? And he gave me information for this LPN program. Um, so when I contacted the lady, basically she didn't tell me nothing. I didn't already know. Like I knew like the process. You know, you got to pay. I think it was, it's called a, it's a word for the people. Like, he's not just telling me to pay somebody because he's lazy and don't want to tell me, and don't want to help me. It's like a word. I cannot think of the name. I'm going to link it here if I figure out the name. But, um, so I'm going to go on switch, right? She said, no, you don't have to go up to me anymore. You can literally just go online, register for the test. So I registered for the test today and you have to call down Carbondale. That's the second half. And now I'm swamping for them to send me over the testing links or something like that then i have to go online and pay five dollars and then take my test so that's exciting but y'all i was racially profiled last night by uber i've never been i i get it what the man was talking about but i got thrown out of uber last night y'all here's the clip tell me if i'm wrong I, I didn't accept it it was added on to the ride the initial ride was not that far sir but i'm already in the car that's fine you, you can step out. I'm, I'm not stepping out. I'm, I'm not going down to 71st Street. Okay, well, whatever you're going to have to do, because I'm not getting out the car. Why would you accept the ride and I, then... I didn't accept it. It just gave it to me. I... Okay, I understand, sir, but I'm not getting out the car. Uh, for, pick up for who? Saruta. Saruta? Okay. I don't know what you went through in the past, but you don't even know exactly. You just asked for the intersection. You don't know where, where my block is even. You just asked for the intersection. I'm so sorry. It's sick. Get up. Um, I am going to have to cancel this ride. While I'm already in the car. And because I didn't do anything, because you it's don't want to take I'm, me. I'm, I'm trying to be respectful. I'm, I'm not, respectful, so I'm not being disrespectful, I, I'm, am I? I'm not, I'm not saying you uh -huh. are, you know, like, it, it's just, I've driven down there. Right. The last three times I've been there, somebody hit me. Somebody was trying to shoot a gun at me. Okay, I understand, I, I sir, but you should have did that before you picked me up. No, I cannot control it with Uber shares. I understand, sir, but you should have asked me when I got in the car initially because I would have just stayed where I was at. I don't know where I'm at right now. You're trying to kick me out. I, I can take you back there. That's fine. No, sir, I'm not leaving. No, that's fine. I, I can cancel and call the police. That's fine. Because I didn't do anything wrong. You did not do anything wrong, and that's why I asked you, like, before we went too far. But, sir, if you were going to ask me, I never would have left. I would have stayed right there. I'm in your car. You want to cancel. Not can, because I did I anything. You, I can take you back. I did, But because I didn't do anything, correct? I know you didn't do anything. I didn't do anything wrong, and correct? that's why out of my pocket, out of my time and money, I can take you How? back to where I picked you up. Sir, you're saying it's out of your pocket. How is it out of your pocket? It's out of my pocket. Because when I, pay I cancel, you, don't, you get your money back. You don't get charged. I don't get my money back instantly. I don't get my money back instantly. I have to request a whole new ride. If you know you don't feel comfortable in certain areas, you should ask before you drive off with the customer or you shouldn't be doing Uber. You shouldn't be doing a ride share. You also have the option to not do ride shares, correct? You could do straight Uber X? No, I can't. Okay. That's well. the problem. I don't take Uber shares. I've canceled or I've not accepted any Uber shares. I accepted this one today or mm -hmm. this one right now because the initial ride mm -hmm. was as far down to 23rd Street. Right, but right. you are in a share ride and that means you can go anywhere, correct? Anywhere within that area. And then it went from 23rd all the way to 71st. Mm -hmm. It doesn't let me accept or deny any additional ones after the initial pickup. Okay. Well, so there's a lot that their riders and drivers don't know. I understand, sir, but I didn't do anything wrong. I know you did. 
I'm already in the car. I, mean, I, I, I don't. I, I, I'm not going down to 71st Street. Okay, well, I don't know what we're going to do. That's fine. I can call the police. Okay, that's fine. I didn't do anything wrong. Also, what y'all do not see is um, him just naming a whole bunch of, like, black urban areas. And he, he said he doesn't like those areas. Yeah, um, Austin and Lundell, he just named a lot of different areas. So I'm like, okay, so you don't like black and brown urban areas. And mind y'all, I was doing a, um, a, a shared ride when we picked up my coat. So it's like when we got to the the second person we were picking up, that's when he told me he can't take me anymore. Imagine we driving like seven minutes at the fucking point. But how he questioned me, y'all, he didn't question my um, Asian co-rider. I get it though about safety. I'm just not an ASO, um, so I get it. But my issue is he should have canceled on me. Like as soon as he pulled up, <laughs> he should have asked me where I was going. He could have called me ahead of time. You don't drive me seven minutes and then fucking cancel on me because you're scared of certain areas. Just cancel me in the beginning. Good morning, everybody. I have not seen y'all in a few days. Last time I saw y'all, I was showing y'all. Um, the Uber click. I'm sorry, y'all. I'm just. I made oatmeal a few days ago. I'm just warming it back up. Cause I grew up on oatmeal. Y'all don't like it, but I made it. <laughs> oh, the last. Y'all know the kitchen. My kitchen like freaking sucks. The last time I saw y'all, I was telling y'all about. Um, what well, I was showing y'all the. I was showing y'all the video of me and throwing out the Uber. So y'all. But today's a new day. That was a few days ago with this freaking point thanks for that we're gonna go run some errands um i don't know i'm off so i just like why not go make the best of my off day i don't i don't know um yeah i don't know i guess i'll throw on some clothes and i don't know if i need my oatmeal i'll make a coffee before we leave out the door Y'all done some clothes. I'm going to take y'all with me wherever we end up. Also, y'all, can I get some? Okay, so I'm, I don't watch TV. I normally just watch YouTube, right? But YouTube has not been doing it for me lately. Even my favorites of my favorites, I've not been watching their stuff. I don't think YouTube do does it for me anymore. And it's going to be spooky season. I don't know. So can y'all recommend any TV shows y'all like right now? Any movies? I just don't think YouTube do it for me no more. Like, y'all will be surprised. I don't even watch my favorites of the favorites all of their videos like i used to remember i used to like watch my favorite people even if it was like an old video of theirs i can rewatch it child i'm barely i mean except i am shelly i would never miss her videos ever ever <laughs> but um i don't watch i don't be on youtube like i used to. got my oatmeal y'all see y'all and i have sweeties and i have broke one so i need to go to walmart I need to go to Walmart for a lot of shit. Actually, I want a crock pot. I want, um, I need to start getting heaters. Cause y'all, it's gonna start getting cold. I need to get started getting a heater. Another heater for my house. It's just a little shit, little shit. I don't go to Walmart as often as I would like, but I'm gonna go to Walmart soon. Where was I going with that? Where was, why was I telling you I was going to Walmart? Oh, for this, I had two of these, I broke one. So I got this from Walmart, they were like $2 each. I need to go get another one. And then I think I bought, I don't remember. I know I had three of these, which I still have three and I have sweeties. And this is where I'll put like my sides in when I cook dinner or like breakfast, whatever. But I don't know. I don't think I got this from, let me see. I think I got this from Burleson's. But yeah, oatmeal, cinnamon. <laughs> And if you don't know, what well, takes the oatmeal up, up a notch. And they used to do this too when I worked at McDonald's. But I got this from my mama years ago. My mama um, adds coffee cream in her oatmeal. And I do it too. Well, I didn't add a coffee cream in it. So I just add oatmeal because I didn't have actual creamer. But when I worked at McDonald's, that's what we used to make it too. We used to add like the apples, the raisins, and the coffee cream. So yeah. My machine just stopped working on me. I was on the phone with Nespresso for 45 fucking minutes. They told me I either have to pay $65 to get my machine repaired, or they gave me 30%, 35% off to buy a new machine. So I'm like, whatever. I made them send me some new pies for all the fucking pies I just wasted. I get off the phone with them and now my shit back working. And I saved $65.
plus more maybe if I got a new machine. Hmm. And I got free pods. Okay, don't play with me. Hey, But y'all, can y'all believe I am at 921 subscribers? Which really, I feel like I should have been there, but it's been taking so long to get there. And it's like, that is crazy. That is some crazy ass work right there. But I'm pretty sure that is crazy. But once we kind of get some, a thousand, I have a few giveaways I'm gonna do. But yeah, y'all, but y'all, okay, I have to tell you, I sp I've been supposed to spoke on this, but I just ain't spoke on it. About, I think a month ago, I have wrote on my community tab, I said something like, and so that bitch ass nigga I called Tyrone, you still a bitch, or you know I'm at something like that, y'all. It was, I was talking about the boy Tyrone. You know, Tyrone, the bitch, the homeless bum, that nigga, yeah. And I know, some of y'all probably was like, what the fuck is this bitch talking about? Okay, y'all, so, for this to make sense, go look at my story saying the homeless bum played me, right? Okay, so y'all, I was drunk. Mad y'all when the bitch left my house, he still owed me money, right? That's the only reason I made the video. I was gonna let the bitch leave in peace. I swear to God. But when that bitch told me when I called and I'm like, hey, what about money? He I was gonna give it to you, but now I ain't giving you shit because you started calling me. That's when I made the fucking video, bitch ass nigga. I wasn't gonna make it though, y'all, until he told me he wanted my money. Then y'all, the bitch, like a week after the video came out, the bitch had the nerve to call me and say, um, then I see such how many of your YouTube click hung up, bitch call back, didn't answer, right? So, like a month ago, I was just drunk and I called him. I'm like, bitch ass nigga, what the, where the fuck my money at? And he and the key, I don't have time for you, blah, 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 blah. But he had brought up how, <laughs> oh God, I'm glad that he brought up the fact that, remember when he left me, he was gonna live with his auntie daughter, his auntie and her daughter. That bitch brought up to me that the, his cousin kicked him out. He was back homeless. And I was 11. I said, hi, you left my house. You let a bitch live while I do it. Tell you to leave my house. And now the bitch daughter it, kicked you out. You homeless. And he's like, so you know, he was like, you know how people are. And then we just got to follow each other. That was the last time I talked to him, right? And I would not be laughing at a normal person being homeless. But with this bitch, I'm going to laugh because y'all, I did so much as I ran over the years. I've dealt with that man. When I say I need so much, so fucking much, bitch. First of all, I'm getting a breast production at some point, so I did so much for Tyrone, and for you to do me like that over how much he owed me, y'all. I don't remember. It was like two hundred dollars. Two. I think. He, I think he owed me like two hundred dollars, two fifty. You fucked up a person who done did so much for you over two hundred fifty fucking dollars. I done did that for you times a thousand and you fucked it up. Now you a homeless bitch. But yeah, you know, maybe that was a month ago. Maybe he um has a place now. I don't know. Okay, y'all, wait. Change of plans. I'm I'm still going to go handle my errands, but I am going to the movies on YouTube. YouTube saw me some type of perk. This ain't second. I don't know. This ain't second time sending me perks. I think. Well, no. This is the second time I looked at them. I think they sent them more than once. But I actually looked at my perks today, and I saw it said a movie ticket. And then I got love good movie shop. So I didn't know what I was watching. Didn't know what I was watching. I'm going to go see something called 1992. I only ended up having to pay two dollars and forty five cent. It's eleven twenty six. The show starts at twelve o'clock. But it's crazy, y'all. Like my hair is already done. Um. Yeah, I got up this morning and I just did something quick to my hair already. I have on like slight makeup when I say so slight you can't see it. That's I don't I don't wanna wear lashes and stuff anymore. I think I'm okay with just slight little little to no makeup. Um, yeah y'all, I'm finna just put on something and we're going to see the movies on YouTube. Yeah. Oh wait, and before y'all be like, why you show why did I choose that early ass show? First of all, y'all. Um around my it's gonna be around that time and my Uber should only be like thirteen dollars to get in on there, okay? And my baby um, is coming home, like, so I still have to come back home and be a mom. And 
it's two o'clock who's gonna be in the show at two o'clock so yeah let me hurry up so i can get up out here okay so i just put my hair in a ponytail it's getting side pony and maybe i can show y'all my actual outfit like when i get there but i'm just having me a drink so i'm a so this particular movie theater, y'all know some movie theaters like you just hit, you know, you hit the butt and they bring your stuff to the table. They will they bring the stuff to your seat. They will bring your food, but if you want to drink, you have to go to the bar. So I'm gonna have to stop at the bar, get me a drink, and then go up in there. So yeah. Okay, we're here, and I have to pee for my life. I have to pee for the job. I have to. I have to just run for my life, y'all. I have to pee so fucking bad. But we're here. Normally I order food from my seats. For some reason I just have to like leave the seat and go to the front order my damn food. I couldn't do it on Oh this camera all blurry, but I'm walking back to my seat. I have to pee. Don't order me some food. Excuse me. Okay, you guys, I am ending this vlog here. I am just currently watching Chelsea Janae and no, it's Chelsea Janae. Was it Janae? No, it's Chelsea Janae, not Gina. It's Chelsea Janae. It's Chelsea Janae and it's Gina Janine. Two separate people. Anyway, I'm watching Chelsea Janae. And yeah, y'all, I'm about to try to edit this vlog and potentially start a new one. So thank y'all for hanging with me. And yeah, see y'all next time.